Hello everybody. We're going to be looking at the 2011 November matric paper. First question on SQL. If you have a look at the paper, you'll see you have a database, GAMS DB, and we're given a form that looks something along these lines. Okay. The First question asks us to list all the dams in the country sorted according to the height of the dam wall from lowest to highest. In other words, in ascending order, going up. This is the default for the order by statement. So let's have a look. Here's what we're given. We're given a statement which turns, deactivates the SQL control, ADO query, a property to type our SQL into, and then it reactivates the ADO query afterwards. To show everything, I'm going to use a select statement, and seeing as no individual columns are specified. We'll use the asterisk to show all columns. Is from table dams, and we need to order it by the dam height property there, height of wall. All right, let's paste this code into our Delphi wrapper over here. Select everything from table dams, order by height of dam wall. There we are. The height of dam wall shows on that side. All right, let's have a look at question two. One of the main concerns in large urban towns. I assume there's something that's left out of that sentence. The department wants to list all towns in a particular province that have a population exceeding 100,000. So we need to complete code. That's going to open up an input box, something along these lines. And we're going to go just the town name for that particular province. The option B. Same procedure. We want town name and we want to show population. From this will be from the second table, which I think is table towns. And see it there, so we're going to have to open the database just to see what's going on. Got a table towns, which contains the town information. Again, we have a where clause where a hundred thousand but we also need to include in this 
the province. Remember, we need to have an input box for the province. So let's well, finish the SQL statement first and province equals whatever is typed into my input box, which we must still fill in. So let's create that. Create a string to hold the value. And this is going to have a caption, message, and a default value. This gets us the text that we're going to be using as our criteria. We are province. Now remember, we're working with values inside Delphi and access at this particular point. This whole string, this SQL statement, is being sent from Delphi to Microsoft Access. This value comes from Delphi, not part of the original string as it stands. We don't want to search for the province, str province. So I need to separate that from the rest of this statement. Okay, let's put this inside our wrapper. There is one more thing we're going to have to do here. I'll get to that. Select town name and population from table towns. Then our where clause with the two criteria. All right. The missing bit here is that the province that's contained inside this variable must be a string in SQL. I have to signal to Microsoft Access in this case that we are passing a string value. I do that by adding quoted string around the value. Delphi will now insert the appropriate inverted commas to make this a string in SQL. Obviously, this has to happen before the SQL statement. Okay. Only three. In question three, an audit of the dams is taking place and additional information is required. We are going to have to calculate the age of each dam well as the current water level of each dam. So this is two calculated queries, two calculated fields rather, in this query. We'll be showing dam ID and dam name and age and percentage are our calculated fields. Dam ID and dam name. Now, for age, we're going to use the current date, but we're only interested in the year. So I want to know what the year of the current date is. Minus from this particular thing from this table 
we're interested in year completed minus and we give it the name as age from table dams right this is our first calculated field second calculated field is to calculate the percentage and in this we have the dam level the capacity so i can use those values dam level divided by there is something else they want to name this field percentage and round it down to one decimal place so to complete the percentage now we need to round this whole calculation to one decimal place round we go and we give this a name That's it. They don't ask us to order it in any particular way or to have a where clause that only selects certain fields. We could order it by a damn name alphabetically. This list implies that, but that's not part of the question. So let's insert this into our Delphi wrapper. I'm going to split this line into two parts. As it stands, it's extremely long and is going to run on past the end of this edge of page marker. So to make it easier to read, I'll split it into two sections. There's the first section and the second calculated field I'll use as the second section. There we go. Only thing is, they said one decimal place, I made that zero. And now for question four. The Department of Water Affairs considers any town with water restrictions to be a critical town. And it wants to know how many critical towns there are in each province. We can use count to count the number of critical towns in each province. This is an aggregate function, so we are going to be using an aggregate function along with group by. Grouping by each province will enable us to count the number of towns in each province with water restrictions. Select. We want town name. Sorry, we want the province and the critical towns. Province. Field that we have to count in table. In table towns is water restriction. This field here contains Boolean values which can be either true or false. But count then as go towns.
we're only interested in those which have water restrictions. In other words, those where water restrictions is true. Where And because this is an aggregate function, province is not part of the aggregate function itself. It's not part of the calculation. So it has to be part of the group by. OK, let's include this in the Delphi wrapper. Correct our aggregate function from table towns where water restrictions are true, then lastly the group by. Okay, question number five. Due to the fact that the Vaal River flows through a number of provinces, the department needs to know which provinces would be affected should the Vaal River be contaminated by pollution. So we're going to have to draw on values from two tables. We'll see. We've got our table town, our table towns, we've got the provinces and the towns, along with a dam ID. Table dams, we've got a dam ID and a river. So each dam is associated with a river. And the dam ID is the column that appears in both tables. We're going to join these two tables using the primary key foreign key relationship created by that DAM ID column in both tables. Joining this to table dams on okay. Remember, an inter join makes an intersection, so only those values that appear in both tables are going to show up in this final table. Okay, now we need to know which of these are supplied by the Val River. So, we have a WHERE clause, WHERE River, we're interested in that field, River equals I want to check just how it is spelt here. It looks like it is going to be Val River full words. Okay. We could use single inverted commas. Where it would require me to do that. 
That is the more technically correct way of doing this because single inverted commas are the standard in SQL. Or I could put this inside a quoted string. I think just to illustrate the point in this particular instance, I'm going to do it that way. But let's put the SQL into our Delphi wrapper now. There are four lines. We're only interested in the problems. What I have is fine, but to illustrate how I would use the quoted string function in this instance, I'm going to do that. All river, the string Delphi in this instance. And we finish with a semicolon. Right. Some analysts have indicated that the Northwest Province will experience severe droughts in the coming years. They have recommended that water restrictions be imposed on all towns in this province, which means they will all become critical towns. So we need to update the records for all the towns in the Northwest Province and make water restrictions true. It's not a select anymore. This will be an update. We're going to update table towns. And we're going to set water restrictions equals two. Two is not a string, it's a value in its own right, so it doesn't have inverted commas, it appears just like that. The last thing, but it's very important with an update clause or delete, is the where clause. Where province equals, and we're interested in Northwest. Only those values should change. Okay, let's add this to our Delphi wrapper. Table towns. The value we're going to set and the where clause because we don't set too much. Right. Notice the two ways. I'm using two single inverted commas in this instance where Northwest is also a string value that has to be sent across as part of the SQL statement so that Access knows it's a string, and in this particular instance, using quoted string. These two approaches do exactly the same thing. But multiple inverted commas as part of a Delphi statement might uh, be hard to read. That's where this approach makes things a little bit clearer. Want to get to table of towns. I'm looking for northwest. Here's northwest. We've got several values that are false. Let's see what happens as we run this.
Filling is important. Notice water restriction. Uh, that should be water restrictions with an S. Try option F again. Um, still a spelling mistake. Water restrictions. Okay, and let's see if that actually did anything. Here's our database table. Nothing showing yet, but if I refresh the values, northwest, everything is true. Uh, question seven. The risk of flooding has been assessed, and it is recommended that all dams with a dam wall height of less than 11 and a half meters may not be used any longer. Complete the code for this next statement. So we're going to update. Now we're going to delete all the dams that have a dam wall of less than 11 and a half meters. So we're using delete from, and this is from the table of dams, table, table dams. A where clause is important in a delete as well. Without the where clause, you delete the entire contents of the table. The bad where clause, you delete the wrong things. So let's check. We want to delete where wall height. Height of wall. Is less than 11.5. Let's include this in our Delphi wrapper. A look at the dams, table dams. You want a nice short one. Let's see if these four dams disappear. Process successfully. And they're deleted. And that's it. Nice, short, and sweet. Well, that's the end of that paper. I do hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.